to uh, the thing which is called the four point starter. This is the thing which we have discussed. Uh, it is the uh, three point starter. Uh, and, uh, uh, there is a slight difference. So sorry, this is not connected to here. Uh, this is connected here. Okay. When coming to the four point starter, since I said that the magnetic, uh, since at higher speed, uh, the current IF would be very much less because since this is connected to the uh, field coils in series with this one, so that may be possible the magnetism of the world coil will be very much less, and so the pointer may fall back to the original position. So this drawback is overcome by right? four point starter, and uh, another point is created in four point starter, and another point is here, which is called as R a very high resistance R three is connected with the. In the series with the no volt coil, so that uh, whatever may be the current in the um, uh, field winding, uh, specific current is always there in the no volt coil, so that it will be having a sufficient magnetism to pull this spindle in this position. So uh, this is the point which we have discussed about the no volt coil and over release coil. These two are very important and the things which are supposed to be remembered uh, regarding the objective type of question is that my field coil is connected in series with the no volt coil. It is the first thing. Another thing, the in the four point starter, this is, uh, these are having four points, R, A, L, F and T. One is this point, in this point, third point, and the fourth point. These are the fourth point, so it is now called as the four point starter. In four point starter, the series resistance is of very high value. This is very high. First thing to be remembered. Second thing is to be remembered is that it is in series. It in series with the no volt coil. Second thing, another thing is that field winding. This field winding is also in series with the no volt coil. So these three things are very much important. And over release coil is very much important here. It is there to uh, break the magnetism of the no volt coil by shorting it. And uh, if the current in the uh, specified value exceeds the uh, uh, desired value in the uh, circuit, then the, the sufficient magnetism comes to this over release coil and this spindle again that is the iron piece is attracted upwards and this part is also attracted towards this part. By short shutting this point, the magnetism of this whole coil is released and the uh, spindle comes back to the uh, original position and it is called the off position. So this is about the three point and four point starter, and again the starters in DC machine or DC motor are not to start the machine. Actually, it is there to limit the starting current of the DC motors. Now coming to an example. We will see an example uh, which will show us the value of the starting current. We have, so whatever we have said till now is it was the actually the uh, uh, in it was in the theoretical part. We will be seeing it as a uh, in the numerical part also, which is actually uh, example number one of us. Uh, here 
uh, in the example number one, uh, the resistance R A is given as one ohm, and uh, it is uh, of the machine is of fifty volts. Mm, the machine when the speed is speed is when the Speed is R five hundred RPM, and the EA, which is your VT terminal voltage, EA or you can say VT is equals to hundred and fifty volts. So now we have to find first of all the starting current. Second thing which we have to find is the back EMF EV at thousand RPM, and thirdly, we have to find the current I A at thousand RPM. <coughs> so. For the starting current, I can have since according to this formula, which is V T minus E B upon R A, I can have the starting current since at the starting uh, there is no and uh, the speed of rotation is zero, so there is no big back emitter and the original formula for at the starting will be V T upon R. A. Vt is given as 150 volts, so I can have the starting current right now. Vt by Ra, which is equals to Vt is 150, and Ra is one, which is coming to be 150 amperes. So at the starting, you can see that the current is very much high. So let's see what is Vb at 1000 rpm. Since This by this formula, E V is directly proportional to N. So at two different speeds, since one speed and one voltage is given to you, so E V at different speed will be different. So this 50 volt is actually the E V at 1000 rpm. It is saying that it is 50 volt when the speed is 500 rpm. So this 50 volt is the E V given to you. That is the back E V. So for this, I can have. The formula, like in the modification of this, E B one is equals E B one by E B two is equals to N one upon N two. Now this is coming E B is directly proportional to N is coming from the EMF equation of the motor or the generator, which is saying that E B is equals to phi Z N P by sixty A, where phi Z uh, P And A are constant, so E B is directly proportional to N. So E B one by E B two will be equals to N one by N two. E B one is given as E B one is given as fifty volt. So I write fifty. E B two is not known. We we have to find is equals to speed when E B one was there was five hundred, and the speed at E B two is thousand. So I, from this, I can have E B S equals to thousand into fifty divided by five hundred, which is equals to hundred volts. So E B when it is running at uh, the speed of thousand rpm has increased. Which is 100 volt. Previously it was here. Previously it was 50 volts. This is my EV1. So now since EV has increased, so my current, as we were discussing, my current should come down. How? 
You'll see that now. I'll write everything. My starting current I got is equal to 150 amperes, and EV at 1000 rpm I got as 100 volts. So I need to find uh, the armature current at 1000 rpm. So what is that now? So according to this formula again, since VT is given, that is 150. EV at 1000 rpm is 100 volt, and resistance is also given. I can find the current at 1000 rpm. So I A at 1000 rpm would be equal to VT is from this formula. VT is equal to 150. And for this, I can get the EV at 1000 rpm, which is 100 volts divided by R is also given to us, which is equal to 1 ohm. I got 50 amperes. Here I got the answer as 50 amperes. So, <coughs> After solving this example, uh, now we can say that mathematically also it is true that whatever we have we were discussing in the uh, just before that at the starting the current was very much high. Starting current 150 ampere may not uh, my machine may not be able to withstand this much of current, so I need to have a starter at that time. So when my motor picks up speed, Previously, the voltage EV was very much less at 500 rpm. So when my motor is picks, picking up the speed, when EV2 is coming into the picture, at 1000 rpm, my voltage is also, which is EV, is also increased. Since my voltage has increased, my current IA has come down. According to this, at 1000 rpm, my current is also down. But this is the way you know, one can understand the, uh, the, the need of a startup in, uh, in its significance in DC motors. So, DC motor starters are used to limit the starting current, not for starting the motor. <coughs>